Welcome to the part two of burning and dodging. On this lab, we're going to do it a little bit different. Previously, we used the mask with the brush to kind of reveal um, the foreground adjustment that we did on the curves that was running it up that foreground part of the image. On this one, instead of using the brush, I'm going to show you a gradient um, tone that you can do. So that way you can darken the, f the top part right here. Okay, and on the image, and you can keep this bottom part how it's exposed right now. Okay, so we're gonna make try to make the sky a little bit darker to kind of make it more interesting. So to start, we're gonna always do this. We're gonna do um, on the background layer. We're gonna do Command J, so that way we have a copy just in case. We're gonna rename it um, to whatever name you wanna give it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight to my curves. Again, I'm gonna to go to this hand so I can click here and say, you know what, I want this darker. Now, you don't want it too dark, right? Because it will start doing weird stuff on your image. You wanna find a, a good darkness that you feel like it adds something more, let's say somewhere around there, okay? So I added that dark darkness, but we wanna keep this bottom part right here how it was before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the mask of my layer, and I'm gonna go here to the left toolbar and I'm going to click on this one that has a gradient tool. You can press G for the shortcut. Okay. So I'm going to click this one so that way I can get the gradient and you have to make sure that on the top here, it should be from black to white. Okay. So remember that the white will reveal what's happening on this adjustment that we did. So what, what that means is if it's white, it's going to look darker. And what we want right now is to have the sky be white and the bottom be black, right? So if I see the foreground and background color, I have it black to white. And we're actually going to switch it. We're going to put white to black, okay? Why? Because if I start from the top to the bottom, when I pull down, it's going to be white on the top and then black on the on the bottom. OK, and that's how we want it, because we want to block this darkness that I did from the bottom part. Remember, black conceals and white reveals. And we're going to reveal on this mask on the top part that darkness. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to click here and you can pull it down. If you hold shift, it will be a straight line. So I'm going to do that. And where, wherever you're going to stop, I'm still holding down. Wherever you stop from that point on will be pure white and the gradient will be on the top part. So I'm actually going to go all the way here. So I want to make sure that the bottom part stays white. So, and then I let go. Okay. So this bottom part is completely white. Sorry, black, meaning that where I stop from there on is stay black. So meaning that it's going to stay brighter. And then from that point forward, it was a transition to white. And then you end up with the white on the top. So what that did is it darkened the sky. You see that the sky is a little bit darker. Now, now that I have that, I can double click here and I can make it darker if I want, right? I can play with that darkness, okay? And let's say I like it like that. Now, the problem that I'm having right now is that it's also darkening the Joshua tree. So I want to make sure that I keep it like this, right? Very visible. So one thing you can do with the mask, even though I did that gradient, I can go back here and click on the mask and I can select my brush with the B. That's the shortcut for the brush. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to zoom in. Remember, you always have to zoom in so you can do good adjustments. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit narrower than the trunk of the tree. And I'm going to paint, oop, I did it wrong. Which one I'm going to paint with black. Okay. So I can take away that darkness that I did. And I'm going to go around here and paint. Okay. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but you get the idea, right? Now we're keeping the original tone of the tree. So that way it can kind of pop, right? It will look a little bit better. And you're going to be able to see the screen really nicely. Um, if you go out a little bit, it won't be that noticeable. Um, but as you go higher, 
on this part because the gradient is more drastic you might notice it more so you have to be a little bit careful when you go to this top part okay so obviously I'm not doing it too carefully I'm not zooming in that much and I'm trying to um, do it as quickly as I can without making it look too bad so Okay, this is looking better. You see, now the tree really pops. Now we can really see. Let's see if I miss anything around here. Remember, we can press Option and click. That looks pretty good. Okay, if I zoom out, you will see now how the sky got darker. There's a couple spots I miss over here. Um, you can go and fine tune it later but you will see the idea that the sky got darker but the tree stayed with the same brightness that it had originally okay so that's a really cool way of mixing a gradient okay mask with the brush so if I click here and press option I click this is how it looks right now All right I can see that I could probably go lower here because there is a little bit of tone there so I could you know make sure that all this is white or lighter so there we go so that's a little bit better so that's what you're gonna end up with so right now I have this gradient that's making the sky darker and I'm keeping the brightness of the tree okay so go ahead and do this one you can download um, the image and work on it make sure that you do first the gradient and then this because if you do it backwards if you do first the tree and then with the mask and then you try to do the gradient the gradient will cancel the tree okay so when you do it make sure that you do this gradient first and then you can paint on it on top okay if I would have done this first and then done the gradient the gradient would have canceled that part so you have to be careful with that so you first do the gradient okay follow the steps um, so this is covers basically two ways of doing the mask in combination with the adjustment. Okay, I'll see you next time.